stories. I don't remember if I just heard my dad tell it to me or if I was there watching it. But either, either way was we had a big Great Dane and he was playing with this other dog all day long. And, but my dad was finishing up working outside and he was coming in. So my dad was running off the other dog, you know, saying, go on, go on, get out of here, go back home or whatever. And, but what was funny is the Great Dane, our dog, very friendly dog, he picked up on the fact that my dad did not want that dog around anymore. And remember this, our dog was playing with this dog all day. But when my, when our dog named Jesse picked up that my dad did not want that other dog around and was shooing him off, man, Jesse turned on that dog and he just pounced on that dog and ran it off. Um, but the reason I say that is that's the, the example the Holy Spirit used of me, used with me to explain this process that when the Holy Spirit, he's going to pray you to a place where you even get beyond words. You so don't know how to move forward in your life, but you won't stop praying in tongues that you come to such a dead end in and of yourself that you groan. You, you don't know what to do. You're, you, 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 and you may feel this groan. Doesn't matter if you feel it or not, but you probably will. That uh, it's like my dad telling that dog to go home and then Jesse picking up on the fact that my dad didn't want this dog around anymore. So now Jesse jumped on this dog. So the Holy Spirit's going to bring you to a place where you've grown out of your new nature to move past something you in and of yourself, you can't move past. Well, the Holy Spirit detects that you're groaning this way. So the Holy Spirit is like uh, my dog, Jesse, who then runs off that other dog. Well, the Holy Spirit picking up on your groanings, he's going to add his groanings to your groanings and move you past your problem. That's how he intercedes for you, praise God.